three, two, one. So as we should all thank President Kennedy for the continued job security. This is about three African-American women working in segregated NASA in 1960, 61, and 62. They've never had a color in here before, Catherine. I've been obsessed with NASA since I was a little boy, and I just thought, I have to be a part of this. What these women did had a lot to do with where we are in space and science today. Without this conversion, the capsule stays in orbit. We can't bring it back home. NASA offered to these women an opportunity that they would not have had otherwise. We got a job to do. Astronauts suddenly become the heroes of the day. What do you ladies do for NASA? Calculate your trajectories. Launch and landing. Well, you can't get anywhere without the numbers. No, sir. The landing coordinates are wrong. The IBM just ran them. Computers were these big units that took up the whole entire wall. There's more computing power in a toaster today than what was available in the 1960s. Let's get the girl to check the numbers. And Catherine? Yes, sir. The smart one. That was important that somebody like John Glenn would say, get the smart one, because suddenly color went away. They didn't care. Can you do the job? And her numbers were spot on. Colonel Glenn? Catherine. Yeah, it's good to know NASA hadn't given up on good old-fashioned brain power. Highlighting stories like these is very important to NASA's legacy. It is truly a heroic, incredible American story. Oh, yeah!